Hey guys, my name is Xiao Tian. You also can call my English name Trinity. I'm 24 years old from Wuhan, China. I want to use two words to describe my feeling. The first one is discrimination. The second one is anxiety. As for the first one, when there was an outbreak in Wuhan, I was in Australia during my working holiday, and I have heard that, and also I also experienced that kind of feeling. A lot of Chinese people who will look down upon Wuhan citizen, and I have suffered that. Even when I was in Australia, I met some Chinese people and I had to hide that I'm not from Wuhan because that's so dangerous, they were afraid of me, you know And when it become more widely, it transferred from one country to another country and it become worldwide, the discrimination become more and more serious like lots of foreigners will tease Chinese people there have a lot of racial discrimination issue I think and what I'm trying to say is you know Spanish flu is not from Spain and I don't really think this virus is Chinese virus or Wuhan virus so please be kind and it can be really hurt for those kind of discrimination and the second one is anxiety because you know all my relatives my parents, grandpa and also most of my friends are in that city I'm so worried about them I know I'm much more safer while I was in Australia rather than come back to my country at that moment but I just feel so anxious about all these things I call them every day to make sure they're alright during that moment my mom told me you know we my city had been locked down and they are not allowed to go out for like 3 months and the only sound you can heard at the beginning is the alarm of ambulance that's really horrible my situation is kind of special and in, in the end of March Australia government will close the border and Australia is really famous for backpackers so I choose to come back to my country this is my last year of my university I have to worry about my future, my job, and my graduation so at that time I choose to come back to my country to finish all these things luckily I successfully find a job and I graduated that's really great and luckily my parents and grandpa and all my friends are safe and sound I think it's the way we can use video call or voice call is really easy and really convenient. I know you guys maybe know that we, if we don't use VPN, we can't use, we can't, we can't use Facebook or Instagram, but we have our own applications that is also really convenient for we guys to connect with each other. In my country, online shopping and online education will become more and more popular. Even all the pandemic things passed off. Because it's like that, you know, because of coronavirus, students cannot go to school and teachers have to teach at home. So online education become more and more popular. I think the first one is the doctors and nurses. They are really great person. I feel so grateful for those who 
even give up their life to save us. I really appreciate my parents and friends who are always encourage me and give me support. I just feel so lucky, you know, because I survived all those things. And I feel like life is so short and you are alive. And just be grateful and from now on enjoy your life and to do whatever you want as soon as possible. Because you don't know what will happen tomorrow. So just cherish your time and cherish everything. Yes, that's what I thought. Thank you guys. Bye. Thank you.